This right here is the Rymo Boom Pop 2, a new budget headphone offering from Rymo, coming in at around 25,000 euro. And at that low, low price, is this the best budget headphones that you can get right now? And should you probably get it as well? I'll be using this headphone for the past three months, and I'll basically be going through a review of these headphones, telling you the good things, the bad things, and the one major problem with these headphones, and the reason why I should think you should hold out on getting it for now. If you enjoyed the video and find it useful, then leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more cool tech reviews like this, then subscribe to the channel. My name is Melvin, and let's get right into it. So the headphones come in this green box with Bonner Boy's face at the back and it's a nice box of course but I already have a separate video where I did my unboxing and first impressions. You guys should probably watch that video, I'll link it somewhere around here. So I won't be doing any unboxing or showing the accessories in this video, you can check all of that out here. And I suggest you watch that video first. So first we'll be talking about the design and the build quality. This is what the headphones look like, you've already seen it but it comes in only one color, black and green. It has a more expensive version, the Oremo Boom Pop 2S, which comes in a navy blue, but still with the green as well. So, yeah, I like the color black. It's cool, but I don't like the color green. I talked about it a lot in the last video. The green is just not my color, to be honest, and it only comes in green, so. I'm tempted to paint the green or black, or maybe I'll do that eventually, but maybe use a marker and paint it black, paint here black as well. For the build quality, it's made completely out of plastic, which is quite a shame, but at this price, what do you even expect? And yeah, it might not be the most, the strongest of MS devices, the swivel and everything, but yeah, I think it gets the job done in terms of the build. It just feels very, if you can hear that, like very plasticky. On the question of comfort, the device is quite comfortable over the ear when you put it on. You can expand it, of course, to suit your head. But yeah, this is what it looks like and it feels like. It doesn't clamp way too much as well, and the muffs are made of leather, so it sits comfortably as well. But yeah, this is what it feels like or what it looks like on my head. It might look a little bit wide, but that's how they designed it, and you can obviously expand it based on your head. Okay. For the fit and stability, like I said, it doesn't clamp so much like other headphones. So the question is, does that translate to how it fits on? Like I can shake my head and it doesn't fall off. But other headphones are probably more stable. They fit better. If I'm using it to work out, exercise, doing push-ups, they kind of feel like they're about to fall down. But they don't fall down, that's the thing. So they look like they're about to fall down, but they do not. And when I'm trying to maybe lie down and use my phone while using the headphones, it feels like they're slipping off the back because they don't feel so tight so they're not the most stable pair of headphones sound quality is one of the places where i think these headphones really 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 shine they sound so good they don't sound like they cost the entire thousand error and the best part about it is that you can always adjust the way it sounds to exactly how you want it to sound these are really some of the best sounding headphones the bass oh god it's it's so good for 25 000, it's so good that's like one of the reasons why anybody should buy this device the sound quality is good with your Remo sound off, you can even unlock a lot more features. So with the Remo sound off, there's like a built-in equalizer where you can adjust all these things basically. Even there's a bass boost, and that bass boost is just it's so good. But me personally, I have like my own preset that I use, which is a mixture of bass and enough treble at the same time, and I really like it. These are good sounding headphones. That's what I'll see. In the Remo sound off, you can also get a game mode as well, which is cool. I also get updates on the Remo sound off, so it gets updates to the firmware of headphones. The game mode in the Rainbow Sound app is meant to reduce latency while gaming as well as just make a better experience for sound and the enhanced clarity of like footsteps in Call of Duty. I used to play a lot of Call of Duty all the time and it really helps my game. I can't even lie. For music controls, you, pop, you get these three buttons here as well as the power on button here. The device is also Type-C, as I already mentioned, and it has aux input. So you can use aux input even for gaming as well too. But for the controls, you have a volume plus and volume minus which you can also use to change music by holding down on the minus for next and the plus for previous then you can continuous taps increases the volume and continuous taps of the minus reduces the volume this button here is the is, is for pausing and playing basically it controls and also for answering calls in case you get a call so you can just to answer calls and also hang up calls so that's good the Oremo Boom Pop 2S, which is like the big brother of this one, it is a bit more expensive, but basically the same design and the same build quality, has gesture control, so you basically can change music and affect media playback by just swiping your hand over the ear cup, something like this. 
yeah so yeah it's there but uh, would you pay so much money just for that that's like the only big up the best and most overall number one like the number one reason why you should probably get these headphones is the battery life this is the best battery life on any headphone period whether budget or expensive this is like you can't see better battery life anywhere else any bluetooth or wireless headphones this is the best battery this the battery life is rated for 60 hours 60 hours is a lot of time and it translates to me charging this headphone once in two weeks based on my usage but i actually use like bluetooth earbuds as well so i swap between them and i feel like for anybody else using this headphones they should probably charge it like once in one and a half weeks i think so i basically charge these headphones twice a month and sometimes i don't forget that i need to charge it like it's with like it's rechargeable that's how good these are the headphones come with the microphone on the bottom which is going to be primarily for making calls and the sound the call quality is actually quite clear i, I make calls and i never get any problem like they can't hear me or you can't hear me anything so these are really good for making calls the network connectivity on these are really really good you can go some distance before it disconnects anything the bluetooth range is not that bad it's okay it's fair 34 times 5000 naira at the same time you get multiple points connectivity allowing me to connect these headphones to multiple devices at the same time so basically i usually connect my phone and my laptop at the same time and it can switch between both of them depending on what i'm using it's a really really nice feature to see here included at this price the switching is not maybe the most perfect but it works most of the time once in a while you may have to force it to switch because it doesn't switch the bluetooth latency is good i don't have any problem with it and it's actually better even when you use game mode for gaming so i don't have any problem with latency that's very very nice and for the question of portability the device is quite portable as you can see you can collapse it all the way to this making it really really small easy to put into a bag or a case even though it doesn't come with a case like more expensive headphones but being collapsible like this really really helps but the question of water resistance there is no water resistance rating on these headphones you should probably not use them in water or anything but at this price you can't really complain about there being no water resistance with that being said i've used it in the rain multiple times and nothing ever happens it, can't, it, can't, it keeps working and it works flawlessly there's no problem with it in the rain but i would still suggest that you do not use it in water or even in the rain at all because there is no water resistance rating on this now that we have all the good things out of the way let me see some of the bad things i've noticed with these headphones the build of these headphones feel cheap they feel so cheap so much plastic i'm never on the fact that it's plastic but the fact that it feels like hollow plastic it feels empty like can you hear that can you, it just it just feels so plastic and cheap if i wear the headphones and i turn my head i can hear creaking i can hear creaking from inside the headphones that's how bad this is the shape on the head when you're wearing it looks kind of weird to me i don't know if you guys can see this but most headphones don't look like they open like this they open outward i feel like they made the cuts for the adjustability too high so that they open this way rather than like putting somewhere down here so that they open downward most times you want to extend the headphones to reach your ears not to be wider on your head it's more like going downward to reach your ears so they feel weird but for me like I have a fat head, so it's kind of good for me. But for people with longer heads, this might be a problem because they just open wide instead of downward. And if you use this for extended periods, sometimes it can get a little bit uncomfortable, like hot ears, but it hardly happens. For me, I feel like the comfort is also quite good on these headphones. So I wouldn't really say that that's such a huge problem, noticeable, like if I'm using it, other people can probably hear what I'm listening to besides me because the headphones are quite loud for it bleeds to the environment so i don't really like that to be honest while the controls are good being able to move to your previous track and increase the volume from the buttons are quite nice but this button here for pause and play should have gotten some google assistant ability or support like i should be able to hold down on this to trigger the assistant that would have been so nice i don't know why they didn't include that here another oversight that they may have made with these headphones is on the bottom there is the microphone here and then beside the usb-c port there is a light to show to indicate charging so when you plug in these headphones they charge they, they, it blinks a red light that goes on off on off but when you plug them in sometimes you may be tempted to think that this is the light i've seen some people complain about this online and they all think that some people might think that this is the light and think that the headphones are not charging but they are charging you just they just mix them up uh, so yeah it happens to me sometimes and it's always annoying because i don't charge the cell phones so, so often so i forget each time so yeah that's one oversight that they can make they can put the light somewhere okay, so at the beginning of the video i said that there was a huge problem and the number one reason why you should probably not buy this device if you've noticed i've not said anything about durability and that's because there is no durability on this device the durability absolutely sucks 
Men are born fearing buying headphones is that they always break. I've said it, I said it in the last video and I'll say it in this video. They always, always break. And this one is definitely going to break as well. In fact, it has already started breaking. It's probably going to break. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this there's a line here and you can see that it's already breaking. It's going to break. That's why I have to get this review out of the way and move on after three months. So these headphones are going to break very very sad and almost every single other person around like seven different people who have these headphones all of theirs have broken as well either from here or from here so i had somebody that is whole this part this whole thing removed this whole black issue the headphones are plastic cheap and they're definitely going to break and so if you spend 25,000 naira, you enjoy it for like maybe two months or so no matter how careful you are with the device it's going to break and then you're going to have to use tape to cover up the broken parts and it may not look aesthetically pleasing but it's probably going to still work fine and if you're comfortable with that then go ahead and buy this device it's an amazing device the only question the only problem here is the durability it is going to break you might say that maybe i didn't take care of my device or anything but i've taken care of this device so well in fact I, every time i stop using it i put it back inside the box it never fell nothing ever happened nothing remotely close to that happened it's just that device is very very cheaply made and i think one of the reasons why it breaks or, or why it broke for me as well is the design like i said the design is very flawed cutting it off at this places was a huge mistake because now when you expand it to put on your head it can't it bends this place because this it bends makes it straight and if it's straight and it's going to be curved then it's going to snap back and break so for me that was a huge major oversight in the design of these headphones and so they're going to definitely break now the question is is that enough for you not to want to buy the headphones they're going to break and you can probably still tape it and move on and you use it for like maybe an extended period and if that's fine for you then you can go ahead and buy this device you will enjoy it. it's an amazing device the sound quality is good and the battery life lasts forever basically but if you care about aesthetics and you don't want your device to be broken and you're going to wait outside and walk around and it's just going to look very weird having tape on your device then don't buy this device these headphones are definitely going to break so it's just a matter of what's more important to you anyways if you found this review helpful then leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more cool tech videos like this and helpful reviews my name is Novin and have a wonderful day